Over the past few days, there have come multiple reports from Bangladesh wherein Hindu temples and Durga Puja Pandals have been vandalized and attacked. Even reports of people being killed uh, in this vandalism have been reported as well. Now, here we are with uh, Tatagata Roy, who, I who is a BJP leader and was the governor of Meghalaya and someone who's been speaking about how minorities are attacked in Bangladesh for a long, long time right now. Sir, you have even tweeted about it today that Hindus of West Bengal need to unite. Only then there can be a solution to this problem. Why do you think that uh, uh, in a country like Bangladesh, such incidents happen and th these incidents have been happening for a long time? See, it's a long story. First of all, I must tell you that I have not merely spoken or tweeted. I have been researching the problems of the Hindus of the landmass, earlier known as East Bengal, later known as East Pakistan, and now known as Bangladesh. I have been researching on the fate, on the condition of the Hindus in that landmass for the last 25 years or so. This is the fruit of my research. This is said to be one comprehensive book on the subject. See, the manifestation of the jihadi tendencies that you are seeing at Durga Puja time, it has two aspects. One is the jihadi aspect, which is, of course, that no, this is Bangladesh is an Islamic country and no uh, kafir, no non-believer, no idolater is allowed to live in this country. This is number one. The other aspect is the Hindus still have a lot of real estate in Bangladesh and they try to, if they can manage to drive out the Hindus from Bangladesh, they can grab that real estate. As a matter of fact, a Bangladeshi scholar called Abul Barkat has researched this subject in very great depth and found out what huge real estate has been left by the Hindus in that country and grabbed by Muslims <coughs> either just like that or uh, mm, uh, they have been uh, bought over at throwaway prices. Now what happens in this, uh, the, the usual modus operandi of these radicals, these fundamentalists, these marauders is that they uh, spread a rumor that in some way Islam has been insulted. Either the Nabi, uh, the Hazrat Muhammad has been insulted or the Quran has been insulted or some other, uh, some Hadith has been insulted or something like that, desecrated. This time the uh, uh, rumor that was the canard that was floated was that a copy of the Quran had been kept at the foot of Madurga and that is a desecration of the Quran. Now, Do you think these reports are, uh, have any reality in them? These reports are 1000% false and motivated. Why have these reports or why have these rumors been floated? Because if a rumor has floated, then you can, uh, you can infl uh, inflame jihadi uh, anger in people, a lot of people. See, the way Hindus look upon their religion and the way Muslims look upon their religion are absolutely different, North Pole and South Pole. Muslims are extremely sensitive about their religion and a, a simple call that Islam, khatre mein hai, Islam is in danger or some Islamic scripture has been desecrated is enough to inflame this jihadi uh, uh, thing. Plus, there is always the lure of uh, trying to grab Hindu real estate. So this was the beginning. This is what had begun uh, the uh, um, that Quran. It is totally false. It is totally false because the Bangladeshi Hindus are a beleaguered lot. They are a threatened lot. They are a scared lot. They uh, perpetually live in fear of uh, now any anything might happen at any time. You think, so you think it's, it's a planned activity that happens almost uh, every season? Absolutely. Not every season. From time to time it occurs. About four years back, I'll tell you, uh, 
I had uh, 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 four years back in uh, the district from which my ancestors came. In fact, my father and mother were both born in that district, which is called Brahmanbaria. In this Brahmanbaria district, there is a village called Nasir Nagar. In this Nasir Nagar, it was somebody had floated this rumor that uh, the uh, one uh, that a fisherman by the name of Rasraj Das, he had insulted the Navi in Facebook. This Rasraj Das later on came out, had read up to class three or four. He's semi-literate and he doesn't have the foggiest idea of what Facebook is. But the Canada was floated and everybody believed it. 300 Hindu houses were torched. Subsequent to this, I have had a talk with the local MP, uh, Ubaidul Muktadir Choudhury. I know him very well. Uh, I would, am not at liberty to uh, say clearly what exactly had uh, been talked between him and me, but what I am saying right now is absolutely the God's truth, that this is a rumor which had been deliberately floated. This so time who also... Are, who the are these people, who are these groups, you know, uh, who uh, purposely spread such uh, misinformation just for, uh, what you're saying, just to, to get rid of Hindus out of uh, Bangladesh? A, radicals and B, land grabbers. And in a lot of cases, the, ra the a radicals and land grabbers, the same person is both radical and land grabber. These are, these are the people who do it. So how do you see the Bangladeshi government? Sheikh Hasina said that a lot of people have been uh, arrested. Uh, uh, no one, because Bang what she said was that Bangladesh's culture is not of communal division. Uh, uh, how do you see the Bangladeshi government responding to this uh, incident that has happened? See, I personally believe that Sheikh Hasina is not a party to any of these things. In fact, Sheikh Hasina is the best hope of Hindus in that country. That is not to say that with Sheikh Hasina being prime minister, the Hindus are, uh, they can rest easy. They cannot because the uh, there are a whole lot of other forces, fundamentalist forces, Islamist forces working in uh, Bangladesh over which Sheikh Hasina may have no control or may have limited control. But I am satisfied that Sheikh Hasina will try to do her best. And uh, in this thing, so far as India is concerned, India must lend her a helping hand because uh, a lot of her uh, law and order forces have been corrupted, have been infiltrated by these, uh, uh, these uh, radicals. I have it on very good authority. I am not at liberty to say who that person is, but I have it on very good authority that these people, these forces have been infiltrated, that there are a whole lot of radicals among them. Why? When Sheikh Hasina first became a PM, there was a mutiny in the BDR. And as a result of that mutiny, uh, she might have been unseated. Earlier on, there was a uh, grenade attack on her. She had, by just by God's grace, she was spared, uh, b b b she, her life was spared. I've seen a lady called Iva Rahman, who was a genuinely uh, a friend of Hindus and uh, advocate of uh, this kind of uh, b amity, Hindu-Muslim amity. Iva, Iva Rahman was just uh, uh, torn to smithereens by this kind of uh, splinters from the granite. Let me uh, add something. That, but I do not agree with Sheikh Hasina that it is not Bangladeshi culture because we had seen the manifestation of this culture earlier in the East Pakistan era several times. In 1950 was the worst. Then, uh, no, 1971 was the worst, but 1950 was almost just as bad. Then in 1964, then in 1971 during the liberation struggle of Bangladesh, then in 1992, when the um, uh, disputed structure in Ayodhya was uh, torn, uh, torn down, and finally, during the reign of Khaled Azia from 2001 to, to uh, 2001 to 2006, as a matter of fact, there are uh, books in three volumes. I'm just showing this book. This is in Bengali. This is called. Shetpatro Bangladesh Shankhalogu Nidjatanir Punaroshodin. 1500 days of uh, torment of 
the uh, 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 minorities in Bangladesh, which have been edited by a big team led by Shariar Kabir, and it it uh, documents what kind of uh, this kind of what kind of uh, um, uh, persecution had been done on Bangladesh, on Bangladeshi Hindus. So it is not correct to say that it is not in the culture of Bangladesh. After all, so many East Bengalis live in West Bengal. 1.2 crores of East Bengalis had been driven out of, uh, uh, Hindus had been driven out of East Bengal. I have the statistics in my book. So it is not as if it is not there in the culture, but if there are still a very large number of people who want the Hindus to stay there, stay there who want Hindu-Muslim amity, and Sheikh Hasina is certainly one of them, and Sheikh Hasina, I am sure, would try her best to uh, uh, give them the necessary uh, ammunition and meanwhile uh, keep, uh, keep in check the radical forces. One final question, sir. What do you think is the role, what should be the role of Indian government in this particular issue? See, there are a bunch of, how should I put it, so-called seculars in West Bengal also who say, no, no, you can't uh, involve yourself in the work, in the uh, affairs of another sovereign country. Oh, there are um, persecution of Muslims in India also. Nonsense. There are, of course, a few cases. Hasina has pointed that out. Sheikh Hasina has pointed that out. She has her own constituency. She has to pander to her own constituency. That is a different matter. But in India, this is done only to slur the present central government. One akhlaq, the name of akhlaq, is all the time uh, bandied about. That akhlaq was killed because of that beef killings and all that. How many people have been killed in these beef things? As compared to that, the uh, I have already told you the sort of killings that have been taken place that have taken place in spite of Sheikh Hasina being there in uh, Noakhali now and in Nasir Nagar in 2017 and uh, the, what had taken place in Khaled Azia's time uh, is uh, recorded in these three books and what had happened in the Pakistanis uh, um, uh, time was a different story altogether. It was a story of gore and uh, um, outright murder. I have a whole library full of books on this subject I have, from which I have taken and I have uh, authored this book. But this is something that vitally concerns India. How? Because the Hindus, when they are persecuted, they'll run to India. They have no other place to go. There is no other Hindu country in the world anywhere, anywhere, anywhere near these places. So they will come. So if those people persecuted, they come to India. Can India remain neutral in these matters? Obviously not. Besides, from a humanitarian point of view, human rights is everybody's concern. When uh, black men, brown men were being uh, persecuted in South Africa, what was happening? Was not India interfering uh, in the sovereign uh, affairs of uh, South Africa? They were. So in this case also, India must interfere. But having respect for the sovereignty of Bangladesh, having respect for the dignity of their prime minister, who is a friend of India, as well as a friend of Hindus, and uh, uh, with all these things, doing a proper balancing job, India must with uh, extend necessary help to Sheikh Hasina to ensure that Hindus can live in Bangladesh in peace without fear of uh, persecution. That was uh, Tatakata Roy, who clearly stated how India which is also a party, according to him, in this particular fiasco, can help the Bangladeshi Hindus, especially by providing necessary logistics and help to the Bangladeshi government, that is Sheikh Hasina's government, so that peace and tranquility is sustained in this particular region of entire Bengal, that is West Bengal and Bangladesh. With camera person Prabir Biswas, this is Suryagni Roy for India Today, Kolkata.